Okay, so now moving on to the headmaster of UCS, Mr. Mark Beard. Over to you, Mark. Thank you, Hilary. Good afternoon, everybody. And thank you so much for the invitation to join you today. Um, yes, I'm Mark Beard. I've been in post for eight years now at UCS, and it'll be a pleasure to tell you a little bit about the school. Um, I've actually put some slides together to whiz you through a bit of a virtual tour. So if the technology uh, works, I'm going to just attempt to show you a little bit about um, the school. See if we can, there we go. Um, so we're in Hampstead at the moment. Uh, we are an 11 to 18 school. We take boys in uh, through the 11 plus all the way to GCSE to the end of year 11. And then we are joined by uh, a lot of girls for a co-educational sixth form. Um, that's a nice spring shot of the of the main building at the front. I actually took this when I was walking past the school. It's on a funny road called Frognall, and this is from that lovely snowy weekend we had back in January, and that gives you a slightly broader view of the school uh, from the front. Um, but I mentioned at 11 plus, it's very competitive, and like other London schools, we are unashamedly academic. Uh, for example, the Sunday Times league table, if you read that one, placed us 22nd in the country for our 2019 and 2020 public exam results. To explain our name, which is a curious thing, uh, are we a university, are we a college, are we a school? It goes back to our foundation in 1830, when we were the school of University College London, UCL. And so as the school of UCL, we were known as UCS. And actually the original school building was in Gower Street. And that's why we call our former pupils Old Gowers. And then we moved out to Leafy Hampstead in 1907. Uh, and that's where we have these wonderful Edwardian buildings. The uh, favorite space for me, I think, is the Great Hall. Um, looking a little forlorn, over the last several weeks during lockdown, of course. Um, but more recently, we've had children back in the school, which has been an absolute delight. But the Great Hall is, is really the, the spiritual and physical heart of UCS. It's where the entire school meets at least once a week. We can celebrate endeavors, however big or small. And there's a real sense of community and togetherness, particularly when you've got the 11 year olds all the way through to the 18 year olds all present in that, in that one, place together. Um, so it's a, there's a real buzz, um, particularly at assembly time there. We've got this sort of stripy blazer, which is perhaps rather traditional. That's the school uniform up to year 11. Um, we then in the sit form have no uniform requirement per se. We might look traditional, but we are forward looking. We want to remain modern and relevant and we invest a lot in uh, the provision for our, for our pupils. So um, we've got a new library, uh, sort of extensive creative learning center. Uh, that, that was, by the way, children not graffitiing. That's one of those tables you are allowed to write on and then you can rub it off afterwards. Uh, this term, we opened a new sick form center uh, spaces for socialising, there's a cafe, it's actually where the sixth form staff gather as well. Uh, they are experts in offering that kind of university and careers advice that's, that's really crucial as and when uh, the children begin to think about leaving through the school gates and going off into the world. We've got a, a huge offer rate from Russell Group Universities. We've got specialist staff who can help navigate uh, the very competitive applications to Oxford and Cambridge uh, or for medicine and law. We, we are also an SAT centre, so we can give specialist advice and help for those who might aspire to the US universities, which seems to be an increasingly popular uh, avenue of, um, of moving on to from, from London. Um, the rest of the school site is surprisingly well equipped, given that we are in zone two and you can't necessarily espy very much from the front of the school, but we've got some play areas and gardens for the pupils to enjoy. We've got language labs, we've got science labs, we've got a DT and art um, block and workshops. We've got a, a fully equipped modern theatre. Um, we do productions and plays um, every year, we do a musical every other year. 
the music provision is vast. Uh, we can offer lots of classical music, but also much contemporary opportunities for music making as well. Uh, also on site, we've, we've managed to fit in a sports complex and um, we've called it the Sir Roger Bannister Sports Centre. He's, he's an old gower. Uh, he's famous, of course, for breaking that four minute mile back in uh, 1954, I think it was. And actually that quote on the wall there, it doesn't matter if you are the lion or the gazelle, when the sun comes up, you better be moving, is, is a quote from him. Uh, very impressive chap uh, and of course became a, a very influential neurologist as well. Um, so we've got fitness suite, we've got a dance studio, sports hall, uh, there's a swimming pool on site also. And then about a mile away um, we've got about 30 acres of playing fields and we've invested a lot in uh, the recent years in the pitches and the and the broader provision we can offer lots of lovely hospitality and match teas and such uh, for all the all the players and the visitors there being in north london football is a big thing for our, our boys and actually the girls um, so we we offer football rugby remains pretty popular hockey possibly a growth area these days um, and cricket one of the summer sports we also uh, as you would expect, have a variety of national and international trips that, that go on. We also do a lot of charity work, a lot of fundraising, and we have community service for all year groups. Uh, that's from year seven upwards. We're very keen that the pupils take some social responsibility uh, and, and appreciate, frankly, the, the privileged education that they receive. So, you know, we, we can offer our pupils great facilities and a great many opportunities to develop academically and personally, but it's not what we have, it's what we do that matters. And you may have heard that UCS has a so-called liberal ethos. This is about championing individuality, preserving those unique qualities that make each of us what we are. That's it's quite separate from sort of liberal meaning laissez-faire. And we dedicate much time and expertise to the pastoral care of every child. We encourage them to be themselves and to explore opportunities for challenge and growth. But all done with an appreciation that whilst each and every one of us is a bit different, we are bound together through mutual respect for our common humanity. So as staff, we help the children to be comfortable in their own skin and encourage them to be the best version of, the, of themselves that they can be. And it's a successful recipe. It's a really happy school. And I hope that some of you will want to visit us later on in the year, in the autumn, to find out a little bit more. You can find out all the salient information on our, on our website uh, and the admissions page in particular, but we run open evenings after school in September and October. We have tours that you can book yourself onto during the school day if you want to see us in action. And then the admissions bit that I mentioned right at the beginning, the 11 plus exam is in early January. That's key stage two maths and English, basically. And then we interview thereafter many of the candidates uh, from roughly mid-January, and then you hear from all the schools in mid-February. So I think that's all I will say now. Um, good luck with all of the th thoughts and thinking that has to go into selecting a school for your children, and I hope you'll want to visit us sometime in the future. Thank you. <laughs>